Prince Kumkamai as Indonesia takes on Cambodia. Chan Rotana in the blue. Rudy Augustine in the red. As these two flyweights get started. Chan Chilson alongside Gianni Suba. by Rui Augustine as he works back in against the ropes as Chan Rotana. Chan Rotana, double underhooks. And they're gonna step outside, gets the sweep. Nice body lock takedown thrown by Rudy Augustine as he works inside the guard of Chan Rotana. This is exactly what Chan Rotana did not want to be. On his back with a ground and pound specialist, Augustine throwing arms on him. Chan Rotana staying very active on the ground, landed those short elbows. Chan has got very active elbows. He's got sharp elbows. He's finished a lot of people in Kumkumai with those elbows. Look for him to throw him here right immediately on his back. Rudy Augustin doing a good job of keeping, keeping his head in the middle, trying to get inside bicep position. Like you can see, Chan Rotana's doing a great job. Holding his head down, controlling the left arm, the right arm of Rudy Augustin. Not allowing any strikes from Augustin. He's controlling the head, fighting off the bicep. A little throw there as he tries to throw up an awesome arm bar. He's gonna get his hips a little bit more out to the side. He can't throw that arm bar up with his hips in the middle of Augustine's guard like this. John Rotada needs to have his hips swiveled, needs to have his hips on one side. Have a little bit more leverage. Rudy looks content to stay in the guard here, not looking too much to pass. Well, he knows just how explosive Chan Rotana is, so if he does try to create that little bit of space, he knows that Chan Rotana is going to start to frame off the hips like I'm doing with his feet, push away, and get back up to his feet. Chan Rotana with the right foot on the hip there, creating a little bit of space. Not sure what he wants to do, but Rudy Agustin looks to push down on the leg and pass. Almost able to do it. goes to the back. Very sneaky move by Rudy Agustin to pass. Oh, hooks it. Great job of Chan Rotana rotating in with stopping the advancement of Augustine. Rotana with an underhook of his own right now. He's got a lot of experience in Kung Fu so he knows what to do in the clinch. Good job working his way, turns back to the corner. Possibly looking to separate here. Rudy Agustin does not want to let this chance go. He's got that clinch. Wants to keep nice and tight. wants to look for the double underhook and look for the little outside trip that he got in the beginning of the round. Like that short little elbow. Chan Rotana through as he lands a nice right hand. Rotana striking real well, really well off the break here. Chan Rotana likes to stay a little bit flat footed because he throws so much power into that right hand. So you can see him plant his feet right in front of his opponent. But what that does is it gives Augustine the opportunity to close that distance real quick. Chan Rotana looked for a little clinch sweep right there, but end, ends up on his back. Ruby asked. Augustine passes on the left side already. Oh, and up in side up. control. He's got to be a little bit tighter in his escapes. He's got to make sure he does the right things when he tries to move away. He can't just try to get up sloppy like that because Rudy Augustine is just got all he has to do is fall forward, which is what he did. Right. Chan Rotana here still has half guard. One foot on the hip there. Chan Rotana's foot on the hip is stopping the advancement of Augustine. Augustine wants to slide to the left side, go into side control, but Chan Rotana's doing a great job of framing with his legs, not allowing the advancement of the pass by Augustine. You can see the foot on the hips right there, which is what Giant Soup is talking about. He's not allowing uh, Augustine to take that left leg and slice through the middle of his, of Chan Rotana's leg. Nice ground and pound. Thrown by Rudy Augustine. This is where Augustine wants to keep the bat. He wants to keep the bat with him grappling, not allowing Rotana. Look, inside on the double leg, look at these finishes. Tarantana does a good job of sprawling, getting his hips back. Good sprawl, but Tarantana's got to move. He cannot stand right in front. Of Rudy Agustin, he's looking for that one big shot. But Rudy Agustin is relentless in his takedown attempts. Good job by Chan Rotana to stay back up, though. You can see Rotana is not conceding position. As soon as he gets taken down, Rotana is looking to pop back right away. Right. Rudy Agustin might be starting to fatigue a little bit. All these constant takedown attempts are starting to wear him down a little bit. He's also demoralizing him because the way that Chan Rotana is able to pop back up. As look at Chan Rotana. 
as, uh, as other things start to fatigue, it will open up the strikes for Chan Rotana. That was a high pace set by Rudy Alderstein. I, let's see if he can keep it up for the next two rounds. Look at this, he's constantly getting back up, but that's what Chan Rotana worked on. He worked on his strength and conditioning because he knew this was gonna go. Now you can see that Augustine does a great job of moving past the guard of Chan Rotana. Goes to the back, but Rotana does a great job of rotating in and stopping the hooks of Augustine from going in. You gotta wonder about the gas tank of Rudy Augustine. Just the look on his face after that the takedown attempt that was stuffed by Chan Rotana. He just seemed a little bit deflated. Yep, that's very de demoralizing, as you said, Mitch. Every defended attempt is a win for Chan Rotana. Chan Rotana is gaining confidence with each successful defense. Take down the fence of his. That's when Chan Rotana gets so dangerous, is when he gets that confidence flowing and he starts throwing those heavy shots. As Chan Rotana just tried to look into the soul of Rudy Agustin as he glared through the corner at him. Look at that nice little straight right hand to a left hook combination. See Chan Rotana starting to get a little bit light on his feet. Now he's starting to move around a little bit. Not so flat-footed, not so planted. Rotana knows that Rudy Augustine is fading a little bit, so he's using his footwork here, not allowing Augustine to time him for the takedown. Chan Rotana misses on a big leg kick as he lets out a little wail. Rudy Augustine lets him know he appreciates that shot right there. As soon as Rudy Augustine closes that distance, gets into that striking range, Chan Rotana throws a big right hand. Rotana is not afraid to throw combinations to three rounds. He has the conditioning to do that. Like that body kick. I know he's starting to work in this way. Rudy Agustin might be starting to fade. There's no takedown attempts coming. Nice hand combination thrown by Chan Rotana. This is what Rudy Agustin wants. Rudy Agustin wants Chan Rotana to commit on the striking exchange and look to another chain drop it. Looks to be the fresher of the two as we're approaching the three minute mark of the second round of this mixed martial arts contest. I like the leg kicks, I like Chan Rotana throwing those leg kicks. It's gonna slow down that shot attempt coming from Rudy Agustin. Right, he's throwing that uppercut from way back from Phnom Penh. Chan Rotana doing a great job of doing long range strikes, not over committing, not allowing Rudy Agustin to space to clinch up. Nice little fake there. Beautiful left kick, straight right hand combination. This is not the same Rudy Augustine that we saw in the first. He expended a lot of takedown as he runs right into a knee. You have to think, Mitch, is Rudy Augustine trying to conserve energy for the third round, trying to push hard? Not a good strategy against Chan Rotana, who's known to be able to go three rounds. And Chan Rotana's pacing apart right now as he catches the kick, throws him to the ground. Here comes the ground and pound by Chan Rotana. Oh, Rudy Augustine's got move. Chan Rotana's gonna go right past this guard, right into the side control of mount. Big right hand landed. Obviously not doing much in terms of defense. Well, that's it. Chan he needs to lock up Chan Rotana here. He can't just defend. He's gotta intelligently defend himself, otherwise Kim Chang is gonna be forced to jump in and stop this. Try to slow down the attacks of Chan Rotana. Try to get it under her. Good job. At least Chan Rotana was still able to Lock in a guillotine, chooses to teach, switch around, take the back, keeps punching. Oh, beautiful oh. stoppage. Chan Rotana found his moment and let Rudy Augustine know. It was the takedown. It was the ability to stop the takedown, get up from the takedown. And then once he had Rudy Augustine broken, he jumped all over him with huge ground and pound. Rudy what Augustine. a victory. Pushed a little bit too hard in the first round. Did engage his conditioning. Put too much on the first round, and Chan Rotana poured on the pressure in the second round. Kept his range really well. Never allowed any opportunity for Rudy Augustine to get his grappling in. And as soon as Chan Rotana took him to the ground, landed a barrage of strikes. Rudy Augustine covering up here, not intentionally, intelligently defending himself. Here, on the back position, Unanswered right hands. Referee has no choice but to stop this bout. Impressive performance from Chan Rotana. Let's go to Dominic Lau.
Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Kent Cheng, has called a stop to this contest after two minutes and 50 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout, Chan Rotana! Chan Rotana, winner by second round. In the ring, Asha kind of fight for the world champion. Stance shown by Saruta. He throws that head kick on top of the head there as he goes up top to the head. Saruta was able to get on stage from Pashio and we're on the ground for the first time. The first little tangle here on the ground is going to tell us a lot. Pashio's down guard. Let's see what Saruta can do. He's going to get almost back to full guard. Had a butterfly hook in there, but Saruta was able to step over and get back into half guard now. Okay, covering his elbow with his face, dropping his left hand down to his side. And very cringy and tremendously strong. Saruta just to kind of... Yeah. Nice little leg kick there thrown by Pasha. Uh, jumping around. One straw white world title. The holder in the ring, Joshua Pasha with the Philippines. Looks like Pasha is a bit hesitant to kick. Doesn't necessarily want to leave anything over his kick to open up the exchanges. Hasn't broken hand, hasn't broken a lot of hands yet. Step over. It twists like a mini tornado. He may be from Pasha. Outside, so it kind of enables him to have a slight advantage. Saruta lets him go again. Execution there, Saruta. Two world champions in the cage. Saruta looks like that high kick because of that weird guard that's enabling him not to be able to get his feet. Left shoulder. Christian Mark. is a very close contest. Saruta shoots in for the takedown. They're on the canvas now with 45 seconds left in this round. Some acrobatics there. Saruta back to his hip. Judges might not have given that takedown. Outside leg kick from Pascio. For these fans watching live on Adina TV. Big right hand from Saruta. He loaded up with that one. Missed the target though. Trying to get off first with his punches. The Japanese challenge up. Gets up the way the hard kick. The head of course gets us on the right. Very awkward looking Jack. Shoots him for a double leg. Stops the takedown attempt. Does Pasho nicely done from the champion. Thinking about that leg. And with that guard, boom, head up top with the head kick. Easier said than this position. Easier said from that position. Than doing this, but he is landing effectively. Dangerous spin there from Pasho. Left hook in. Main event world title defense against Adrian and Barats. A planting right hand to the kisser there from Saruta. Saruta was able to. It's very unique guard of his. See, but he's... Pasha sees it. Leaving the exposed on that left side. Don't jump, turning back kick! Pasha in Oh, jumping around, house kick! He's stunned him! And there's the right... The head, not just going after the legs, on the left side of his body, spinning and attacking and going after the center. Ends up what they call the championship round. And fittingly so, as two... Pasha went for the hand touch and Saluta ducked underneath it and shot in for a takedown. I don't know how I feel about that, but you gotta protect yourself at all times. He knows what this deep water is like. The takedown there from Saluta. And put in hips here from Finland champion Joshua Pasha from the Philippines in the red. So it's his takedown. Maybe he might want to just blast right through the double leg. See how he keeps trying to do that knee tap? He's going up on the arm and then coming down with the leg, trying to throw Pashi out to the yeah, left. Man, they are as high up in the mountain. It's like four hours up here. He's creating that space. Okay, right, it's really wild. Look at that. And so it's right in front. Pasha was trying to time that takedown with a knee right there. The takedown defense, but Saruta was able to clasp his hands. Takedown, stay on top and drop bombs on Pasha. Here, from the Japanese warrior, goes downstairs to the legs. So too does Pasha. 
Quarterback going up to the for the Filipino once more here in Indonesia. And takedowns from Pak to Tent. The defense from Pasha. He's got to do more of that, but he's got to do something dominant. I think he might be a little bit behind in the scorecards. I don't know. The Trent swept through off the brow of Pasha. Oh, Pasha tried for a jumping knee, and then backed up against the cage in front of El Comitri. Tries to drop down Sarunja, advancing right hand, and now backs up. Oh, spinning back elbow from Pasha. It was his dumb Lau. By split decision. And 